Hi everyone, this is Carla. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad you stopped by today. What I'm going to do today is try to make a gnome. I have been looking and searching for a cone shape and I couldn't really find one. I got some styrofoam ones, but they've got that flat part on top. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I found these little Christmas trees. They're embellished with all this little pretty tinsel, but we're gonna take that off because inside it has a perfect cone shape. So this just pulls off. It's been pretty easy to get off so far. A little bit messy, so you might wanna have your um, trash can handy. There, we're gonna pull this off, see if we got this started. There we go, and then it just you know, winds off, and you could use this, you know, for something else if you wanted to. I was thinking maybe tying it around Christmas presents might be pretty for that. So we're gonna get all that off, and then you've got this neat little cone shape. Now it does have these little jagged knobs on there. I don't know if you can see those, but we can work around that, and I'm gonna show you how. Okay, we're gonna get this out of the way. We're gonna get this out of the way. And the way I made my kind of pattern to wrap this cone in, I simply took the cone and I just laid it all about three quarters of an inch from the, the top here. And then I just kind of brought it to the side, took my pencil, and rolled it until I got around to the other side. Just keep it, try to keep your point up there. And it really doesn't matter how even it is at the bottom because I'll show you what I did. Um, I wanted to make sure I would have enough to cover everything. And so you get this little shape like this. I don't know if you can see my pencil mark there. But what I did, and I would recommend, is cutting it bigger than this because when you wrap that around, it doesn't always wrap even and you want some left over and then we'll trim the bottom. So I'm going to start almost at the end here and I'm going to cut out, oh, about an inch from the line I drew. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect because, like I said, we're going to be trimming this off anyway, so you're gonna get to something kind of like this. All right, so then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of curl this like a cone just to kind of get the uh, fibers and the paper working and pliable a little bit. So just kind of roll that around and get it working like I said, and then I would come back to this point and just kind of work that to get that soft so it can bend easy. And do that, work that a little bit. And then I'm simply gonna take the cone, and lay it about, like I said, three fourths of an inch to an inch away from the uh, end of the point there. And I'm gonna just start rolling it like so. Roll it around, then you want to kind of want to work with this point and kind of get it so it curls around. Then when I get it curled around like so, back to this point, and we'll be working with that at the end of all this too. So I'm gonna put my hand in here and kind of turn it to make sure I've got a good uh, cone shape going. All right, and I do want this to come over as much as I can on the top. And then I'm just gonna start gluing. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I got this where I want it. And then hold it, make sure your knobs are in there. undone. Let's roll it again. All right. Just getting that point is the main thing at the top. 
and you want these to fit inside there, of course. So you go up. I'm gonna go ahead and put some hot glue right up here on the point. Put some hot glue right in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just fold that over. Kind of fold, you can just work your paper. That's why we wanted to bend a little bit and just kind of twist it up into a point there. Get that down, where the hot glue is. And then, I'm just gonna hold that secure. Put it up in there. Turn it this way. Then I'm just gonna take my hot glue gun and go down in here. Get that much attach. Go in there and just gonna hold that. This, we're going to be attaching this, so if it kind of slides out, that's okay. And then just go ahead and where you haven't glued yet, just apply your hot glue. And then what I did was, you can see the base right here. Um, I took hot glue and went around. There's a couple little flat places, but I put it in like, I don't know, three or four different places. And as you can see, this is hanging off and that's okay. I'm gonna come in here, just come inside here, add some hot glue, let that sit. I have to get another stick ready. Let that sit. Well, that's kind of setting. I'm gonna come over here, apply a little bit more. Lift it up just a little bit. And you can always put your hand up in there and push it in and it'll be in there. I'm gonna put it one more place, I think. Three places should hold that fine. And then push my hand up in there. So that's holding now. Go back around, push that down in the glue. And another thing you could make with these, and I have covered five of these already. I went to look for three and I thought they were different sizes. So I got a large one, a medium and a small one. And I went to check out and they had them stacked. And so she started pulling them apart and I'm going, whoa, wait a minute, how many is that? <laughs> so I said, well, I'll just take six and we'll put the others back. I thought they were different sizes is why. I got those, I didn't realize they were all stuck together, but anyway, so now you've got this and this is all stuck together. All we're gonna do, take our scissors, come down here, just come in there and leave just a little bit around the edge. You don't wanna go up too far into the bottom of the cone. And after you get that trimmed around, put that in the trash and there you've got your cone I think I am gonna add maybe just a little bit of glue here to get that down a little bit more I want that to be a little my glue gum to pump come on now let's push that through there we go there I'm gonna hold that down I want that to be a little more flush not sticking out so much. Yeah, looks good. Now, next thing we're going to do is our fabric. I'm going to get some of this hot glue blobs out of my way. I chose plaids, and I'll show you the ones that I have covered so far. Here's one. It's kind of a reindeer, kind of a snowy winter pattern. This is more of a, a Harlequin pattern. Um, this is a Christmas plaid. I have the black and white buffalo check. See that? And then this one is kind of a winter um, little moose and 
snowflakes and the buffalo check in there. So I thought that was a cute pattern too. So all I'm gonna do is take my fabric and open it up. Now there's two ways you can do this. Okay, now I went ahead after I made my first one, I uh, made myself a pattern. So I've got a pattern now that all I have to do is take this pattern and put it on my fabric. Now, if you want your pattern to run straight, um, where you fold it, that's gonna be the front. And this part on here will be the back, like where we've hooked it together. That's gonna be the front, because that's where I'm gonna put the hat and the beard and that will cover that seam and then if you want your pattern to be straight you you're going to set it like this this is a straight pattern but for the plaid i liked it kind of going at a diagonal so that's probably what i'm going to do with this too and to get that look we're just going to put this up in the corner and i'm going to leave about gosh half inch or an inch around that i'm just going to pin my pattern on and try to get it somewhat straight you can see I've got a different setup here for this so I'm trying to get in here and get that on pinned on I use just the craft cardstock. It's pretty sturdy. And I'll come under here, put this one on. Okay. Take my fabric scissors. Now again, I'm going to cut, I'm going to turn this so you can, I can get to it a little better. I'm going to cut about, oh, an inch around that. So I'll have some to fold under when we get it all assembled. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to cut out from the pattern about an inch, three quarters of an inch, and just cut all the way around. And it doesn't matter if you've got this little edge over here on your pattern, that won't matter. And we're finished with this. I'm gonna come up this side. There's a little bit of a fringy selvage. I'm just gonna come up here and trim that off. I don't wanna deal with all those fringy edges in my glue. <laughs> all right, now we'll take the pins out. Put my pattern over here, and I'm going to take my, um, let's see, I don't think that matter. put my cone here, but before I start doing the cone, I am going to go and spray starch this and give it a good press, then I'll be right back. Okay, that's pressed, it gives it a little more body. Now I'm gonna take a uh, tacky glue and that's what I'm going to be adhering this with. So we're going to take the point. Let's get this lid off. I'm gonna put the point about three quarters of an inch to an inch away from the very top. And I'm going to take some tacky glue and just go down this side pretty generous and then we're going to keep that point where it is just bring this up over pull this around that glue up in there I want that to be wet on that tip and pull your fabric so the lines are somewhat straight oops get that a press on there little bit where that glue is then you're simply just going to rotate it up here I want to keep my point 
I need to add a little more glue up here. In fact, I could have come up maybe just a little bit closer up there. There we go. All right. Pull this over. Keep my little wet wag here. My fingers get all gluey. Just kind of rotate it. And then when we get to the other edge, what kind of taut? I'm going to, let's see, let's put my pins here to hold that. I'm going to give this like a oh, quarter inch, half inch finger press up through here so we won't have a raw edge showing. Get up here and make sure there's glue in there. And I'm going to go down inside here and put some glue. And just give that a press over. Kind of let that kind of absorb into the fabric. Trying to keep my lines fairly straight and then I'm gonna add glue to the top of that kind of by the edge and I'm simply just going to keep rotating until we get this where we want it on the edge kind of pulling making sure it's up in there down just kind of give that a little press all right look at that here you got it and look how nice and neat that edge is i'm gonna give that a finger press there kind of straighten it out this is all nice at the top where we made our little point like i said i have seen at hobby lobby and i might make some of these into that i'm not sure but haven't you seen where they just have a cone and they have like fur around the bottom and you've got a cute little Christmas tree. So I don't know. I'll be decorating these and we'll be figuring out just how we're going to use them. I'm thinking gnomes, but we'll see how it goes. Now, as I was saying, if I make my gnome, I'm going to use this as the front because that seam will get covered with everything we'll be doing on the gnome. And then the back won't have seam showing at all. So let's get ready to turn these either into Christmas trees or gnomes. So here's one that I've decorated and I definitely turned this cone into a gnome. So I'm going to share that with you. Here's how we put the fur on. There's his, his hat. Oh, you can see that. It's his little hat. Here's his little arms. I love his hat. Here's his beard, and I've kind of given a handlebar mustache. My husband has a handlebar mustache, so this might be for him. Who knows? All right. So, we're going to decorate another one, and the one we're going to decorate is this little Harlequin one. Now, I still have a lot of this fabric on the bottom. I am going to be closing this up. I tried to find... <clears throat> excuse me, styrofoam rings to go in there, but I couldn't find the right size, and I just thought, nah, we're not going to do that. So, my plan is to cut a circle, cut around it, fit it up in there, and hot glue it in. I may stuff something in there, I'm not sure, but anyway, I will finish the bottom. So, for the Harlequin one, uh, the first thing I want to show you is the hat. Okay, I went ahead and made hats for all of them. And the fur I'm dealing with has a tendency to get on everything. But here are three of them. And uh, I'll show you how I came up with the pattern. I'm going to take these to my craft fair. And I have a feeling gnomes are going to be really popular this year. So I wanted to do something that maybe that might be a little bit different. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, here's this one. We're going to save back for that. And I'll show you how I made the hat. I looked on uh, 
here's a gray one too. I looked on Pinterest and looked at some tutorials and the one I liked was um, this one. This one that looks like this, the one I put on the other one. So that's what we're gonna try to make. Now, the way I did this, I had to make a pattern. So I'll show you how I kind of did it. First of all, I took my cone and I decided where I wanted my hat to come. And so I kind of looked at the width of that and kind of doubled it. And, um, but for the width of just the width, I made uh, a triangle that wide at the top. So I took my ruler, I made a triangle, and then I uh, kind of estimated how tall my cone was, how tall I wanted it to come up. And so then I measured up with my ruler about how tall I wanted this hat pattern to be. And I went to the center of my triangle and I drew a line up to where I wanted the top to be. And then um, I kind of came down here, cut these to kind of come out a little bit, kind of curve out, and that will go over the nose. Then up here, I just kind of hand drew this little curve that comes out like a candy cane kind of thing. And I will say that if you're doing this, um, you might, now, okay, I went back and I made a larger one because the cone needed a larger hat. And the first one I made, I think it's a little wider through here, and that would be a good thing if you made it just a little bit wider. It just makes it so much easier in trying to put the polyfill up in the hat. Oh, I'm sorry. So anyway, that's how I made my hat pattern. Then I laid it on two pieces of felt and then I just cut it out but like I said um, you might want to consider making this little wider right through where I put this hook because you're going to be taking polyfill to stuff it with then what I did you can hot glue this but I did a blanket stitch around it or you could do any kind of stitching around it I just used some uh, white embroidery thread for this and just kind of went around it with white embroidery thread. Then, like I said, I stuffed it with polyfill. When you get up here, the easiest way, this was kind of tricky to get it down in here. That's why making that wider would help. But I just took like a, a dowel rod and just kind of had to move it kind of sideways instead of pokey pokey because it goes right through that. That's your hardest part is getting this hat to come out. But anyway, after you get your hat done and you uh, get it stuffed then I'm just gonna put it on here to show you about these little points here I love these little points you can um, I put quite a bit in there if I need to adjust take some out or add some more I can but I'll pull that down there about as snug as I can and I might want to take some out because I really don't want to glue this on yet Unless I glued it up here, I could, because I'm going to be putting the arms under there. But I like where that's at, so I might go ahead and uh, hot glue that on. But anyway, I wanted to show you, like these hat, you could make it, you know, stay down like that. But I think it's really cute to, you know, flip it up like that. Can you see that? I think that's really cute to flip it up. And on the side and the back, it looks like that. Cute, cute. Then, um, my glue gun, I'm not sure if it's quite hot enough. I want to glue that on. But while that's heating up, I got this at Hobby Lobby. This is some white fur. I'm going to make this one with white fur this time. Um, and the last time, I wish almost that I had cut it just a little bit wider, but if I secure this down more, it might not matter so much. So I'm going to take this apart. I want to make sure I get the staples out. I think I've got one left over here. Yeah, I'll get that one out. And then, when you're dealing with this... This is, let's see, this is about nine inches 
wide, so I'm going to make it four and a half inches. One, two, three, four and a half. Right here, I'm going to lay this like so. And I've got this comb that I keep in my craft area, and I'm just going to separate that. Going down that four and a half inch mark. And so that would give me enough for uh, possibly I can get four beards out of this. I'm going to make sure I've got that at four and a half. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nope. I don't. I want to go this way a little bit. That's what happened last time. I got off somehow and it wasn't just quite as wide as I wanted it to be. So we're going to take this down this way. Line it up on that four and a half inch mark. Kind of cut that because you don't want to just cut through this or you'll be cutting all your fur away. So if you separate it, uh, then you know where you're cutting. Let's see. Get a ruler, see if I'm staying straight here. Oh, sorry, hit that again. It looks pretty good. Right here. Okay. Then I'm just gonna take my scissors, make sure I've got it separated. And just go down the center there. I'm just going to cut right down where I have separated that. There we go. Put this one aside. And then after you've cut that, you can see how that just kind of fluffs out and looks cute. Gives you that fluffy, and some of that will pull off where you cut through there, and good to get that all off <laughs> before you stick it on. Okay, I think my hot glue gun's hot, so I am going to at least put some hot glue. Get that through there. There we go. Let's see, it's down pretty far, wasn't it? I'm going to go see right here. Just right here. Just enough to get this on. Try to get it straight. That seam. Yeah, that's nice. And that looks good from the side. Nice and even. Okay, so now we've got that attached. Now, next thing we're going to attach is... Let's see where I put them. Here we go. I got these little wooden balls at uh, Hobby Lobby, and they're $4.99, and with a coupon, 40% off. And there's 20 in there, so you get quite a few. And I'm going to take hot glue, and I want this nose to come up under this hat a little bit. So I need to pull this, stretch it out, because I want it to come up under there a little bit. Is that good? Looks good. Quite a bit of hot glue. I'm kind of generous with it. There we go. Pump that in. Then we're just going to put that up under there for the nose. Right on that seam, keeping it centered pretty good. Got a little time to take hold. That to be on there good. Now my craft fair, this time next week, I'll be setting up. They give you a check-in time to set up. It's in a big uh, convention center type thing, and there are all kinds of booths there. I mean, people actually drive in with these little trailers, you know, that have clothes inside and I mean, it's just amazing. There's so many things there. And I've been very fortunate 
I'm not sure I got that. Enough glue, hopefully I do. Looks pretty good up there. Okay, now next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of pull this hat up like so. I'm gonna figure out where I want this beard. Now, last time I kind of got it too short, so I'm not gonna cut it just yet. I'm gonna cut just a little slit um, up here to kind of go around the nose. Spread that out. Try to get it in the center. We said that was four and a half. So I am not in the center. Let's try this. <laughs> four and a half. That looks better. And you don't want to get it too much. Like I said, I almost got it too much last time. So I'm going to take my fabric scissors and just, I can always do it more. Just a little bit right there. And what this is going to do, I don't want to put it up there if it's wet. Okay. There we go. We're going to take this around the nose and pull it up. And let's see. I'm going to come about right here. And I'm going to Keep my finger on that. Separate that. And that's where I'm going to cut my beard. That's looking pretty good. Alright, I'm just going to cut across there again. This aside, and so when you fluff all this down, it just kind of combs down like so. And then let me see this again. Yeah, I'm liking that. Now, you know what? This feels kind of wobbly to me, and it's probably just fine. But I'm going to go up under here. Add just a little more glue behind that, I think. It won't show, and I would rather it be on there really well instead of taking the chance of it bobbling off. You know what I mean? There. Just leave that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my glue gun and just go across the top here. Around there. Over here. Carefully take this up, round the nose, ouch, I just burnt my fingers, ow, ow, ow. Here we go, looks good. Pretty straight, it's pretty straight, a little more here. This glue off. There we go. All right. Yeah, that nose is much better. Now we pull down the hat. We've got it like this so far. And you can, like I said, bend that up or do what you want to do with it. Now I'm going to come over here and put some glue under the sides and kind of just get that down. You want to get your fur out of the way. And just come over here, get that secured on, because your fur will come over that. Come over here, secure this side on. Just fold that over. That. Oh, I'm liking it. Cute, cute, cute. 
Now what we're gonna make are the arms. All right, so to make the arms, we're just gonna use some of this fabric. And I just, let's see, do we want those, we want them to go up and down this way, don't we? So I'm just gonna eyeball it. And I think I'm gonna go about, I don't know, maybe, let's see here, three and a half inches about. Let me see that again. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do about three and a half inches. I'm just gonna go up on this edge of that. Um, now I'm gonna cut, make uh, both arms at once, so I'm gonna cut a longer strip than just one arm. So <laughs> you're thinking, my goodness, that's gonna be a long arm. Actually, it's gonna be two, so let's see how long that would be. Well, that's about right think. So I'm going to come over right across there. Now, what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to do like a finger press in and I'll be taking this to my ironing board to really press it and then another finger press in and after I get it pressed over on the ironing board, I have some of this heat and bond. You wouldn't have to use this. You could use glue, you could sew it, whatever you want. But since I have this, I'm gonna use this and I'll just show you how it works. And you may have used it and already know how it works. So this is about, oh, half inch. So you wanna, yeah, to go in a half inch. And I'm just gonna take this to my iron and you just lay it on top and get how much you need, which is gonna be about that much. <laughs> and then you just take your iron and just, your hot iron and just press that on. Okay, after it cools, you just take this top uh, layer up here and you just peel that off and then you're gonna take this and fold it back over and press that on. And you're gonna have a nice uh, finished looking seam there. So I'm gonna to go to my ironing board, do this, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got this all pressed in. Now we're ready to stuff the yarn. Now, believe it or not, stuffing the hat and stuffing these little arms is really, I think, the most time consuming of all. Now, I would suggest I'm using polyfill to stuff it with. I usually have this on hand. Just take a little bit at a time to get it started um, because it, it's, I don't know, it's just kind of hard to get down in there. And then I'm gonna take, for now, the end of this pencil. It's got a rubber eraser, kind of helps Problem is, when you take it out, it wants to come back out <laughs> with it. So, grab it down there. Just take a little more. And I've also, I have a dowel rod handy to poke. And I also have to go upstairs and got the end of a wooden spoon. So, whatever works for you, uh, that's what I would suggest using to get these stuff. Now, like I said, this is going to be two arms. So, I'm going to kind of see where my center would be and I'm going to stuff from both ends and leave it you know less full at uh, the top and where the bottom will be because we'll be gluing it up in there. So I'm going to go off and get these uh, stuffed and then I'll be back. So now we have the mittens on all we need to do is get the arms glued on and I'm going to attach those on the side Right up here, when I'm coming forward a little bit, I'm going to cut a little bit more of that off. And I'm just going to add a little glue in here first, kind of get that together. Come over here, make that about the same, cut some of that off. little glue there. Make sure I've got it going the right way my mittens are going. 
Alright, so first one I'm going to take that right here, pull my hat up, get my arm right in there, so I'm going to pretty big blob of glue here. And if I want it closer to the body, I can always come in and put a little bit of glue on that. Pull that down, which I might. I don't think I want his arms sticking out quite that much. I'm going to come over here do the same thing on the side. Blob glue. Oh, I need more than that. Let's get another glue stick. Oops. There we go. All right, let's take a look here. This looks about right. I'm going to stick those on. Put our hat down. I'm going to put a little glue. I want these down by the... That one down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Little glue under this arm. Right down here. Just kind of attach that to the side. Same way here. Come over here, put some glue under here and attach that to the side. Oh, it's coming together. Now, I'm going to decide what I want to do with the rest of it. I got some of these uh, little pom-poms at Hobby Lobby. And uh, they're kind of furry, so I think I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to hot glue it to his hat for sure. One of these right up here. That'd be cute. Hmm, I think I'm going to lay him down. Put this about right like that. Is that right? No, I need it up a little more. The one on the very end. Hmm. Mm, I think it looks better up here. All right, let's just do that. Let's put some glue here. And put it even with his nose. Cute, cute. Now, I want something here. I dismantled this. Um, where's the rest of it? I dismantled this ornament I have. And I'm going to use parts of it, I'm pretty sure, to do the front. Now... It has this black ribbon, and it has uh, these little pine cones, little silver berries there. So I'm thinking about, hmm, I think I'm going to cut off this ribbon. Let's see what I'm going to do with that. Okay, I'm going to come over here, cut off this ribbon. got this one that fell off I'll have to add back if I decide to use this but I, I feel like it needs something else besides just that so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this ribbon I do like this black ribbon I think I'm going to put it around the hat up where that curve is in the back see where that is. I know I want it above this. Got so much fuzz going on, ladies. 
So much fuzz. Let's get some of this glue off there. That was on there from the ornament. If I can. If not, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. I'll put that there to come around the front. So I think I'm going to put a little dab of glue where I want this. Here, I'm gonna put a little dab of glue, and then I'm gonna. I want that to come up like so. So get that secured there. I'm gonna have to bring a a lint roller with all this furry stuff on this black felt. You know what I mean? And then I'm gonna bring it around to the front and just lap it over. I think I'm gonna trim some of that off. It'll get rid of that big blob of glue. And see how far we're at now. Let's take this. And trim a little bit more of that. Take a little bit of glue. Put that on the front. It's okay if it comes down a little bit because we're going to be putting something over that. Take this and trim this off. Take a little bit of glue. See that what I'm doing here? Oh, can't kid you. Bring that around. Put that like so. Cute. Now for the front, I have this stem. I've had this in my stash. So I'm thinking about putting some white on that and possibly adding these silver berries and pine cones. Of course, it would be much smaller than that. And then I'll need to decide if I want to add anything red to that or not. I may just keep it like that. So what I'm going to do is trim off see is that wire get my wire cutters right here and I don't want this to be real big I'm going to start down here I can always trim it off more Not that one which other one looks good this one uh, yeah, let's try this one. Now I'm going to take these and kind of lay them on top of each other. So they're going to make me kind of a, a swag. How big do I want that? With this on it. Is that too big? Hmm, let's see. I want another piece of white in here. I'm going to cut off like some of this. Cut off a piece of this. Maybe this one. I just need some more. Okay. I'm going to still think I need to cut this off some more. This is a little big. I'll lose a branch there. I can always glue it back if we need it. Let's see what we've got. I'm going to need this one for sure. That looks pretty good. All right, let's just get these glued together. Let's put a little bit of glue here. Stick this on. Take this one, lay it on top of that. I think. Make a 
comes this way. It's too, is that too long? I think it's okay. Then I'm going to take this little pine cone and try to get some more of this ribbon trimmed off of there. I don't know if I can. A little bit more. And I'm going to take my wire cutters and get these wires off there. And I'll probably lose my silver berries. There. That off. Add this on there. Then I have this loose berry. I think I'm going to try and stick that in there somewhere. Cut that off. see what this looks like. This one needs to come up here for sure. And that glue's still wet enough, I think. Just gonna poke it down in there. Yeah. There we go. Now, the question is, I wish you guys could talk back to me. <laughs> Might need, I think this one needs, I don't know. Oh well, it's okay. That, do I need red? Okay, I put some, um, okay, let's snip this off and just see what it might look like. It's got a snipping place. Mm, let's go in here. I'm going to snip this with scissors. Yeah, this is off of a Dollar Tree stem. I'm going to have to see what I think of these. If I put this up here, does it need a little, just a little bit of red? Yeah, I think it does. I'm not sure if this is what it needs, but it definitely needs red. I don't know if I can get some of these off of there. Maybe. Let's pull on these berries so I have something to glue down. Let's see. Oh, I gotta be careful that red comes off. <laughs> Don't want that on. And then this. Yeah, that's gonna have to go on behind somehow. Behind there, like so, don't you think? Hmm. Or I've got these berries from Hobby Lobby. This might be easier to just get in there, huh? Whoops. Well, I got that. I took some of these and just added them in. Maybe back behind there. I like the pop. Tell you what, I'm going to play with this, and I'll be right back. So it's pretty much stuff, but I did kind of figure out a way to get this to go in there better. If you take some of this little fluff stuff and just kind of twist it around, kind of make it solid, point it like this, it'll go in there better. Just kind of stick it in the end, then take whatever you're poking it in with. Poking it up in there. And yeah, much better, much better. Okay, I'm going to leave the ends somewhat flat. And I'm going to fold it up. And these are going to be two arms. I'm going to just take my scissors and cut this in half. It should be about the same size. Now, last time I went ahead and glued my arms on before put the mittens on but I'm not going to do that this time because when you put those mittens on you kind of have to fold them up in there and you may be folding more on the other than you did the first one so we're just going to make them here and then stick them on and make them even. What I did were for my mittens I just drew a little pattern on a piece of paper 
and I made it longer here because I thought, you know, I can always cut it off, but I want it to be able to go up in there. Or you may have to, you know, trim it down to make it more narrow to fit up in your arm. So I cut out two black felt mittens and I turned my seam so it's kind of going to be going down and that way I can get that arm coming with this design going down the diagonal. So I'm gonna kind of work that a little bit. And I can tell now I'm gonna have to make my mitten come up more narrow. So first I'm gonna do that, I think. I want it to stay fat at the end. So I'm gonna come here and go out like that. Oh, be careful with this thumb. I want it to stay fat. I don't want it to get skinny. And then I'm gonna cut it off like that. See if that goes up in there. I still think it might be too fat. Made these arms maybe a little bit skinnier than the other ones. No, oh, that might work. But I want it up in there, so. Hmm. Okay, I may have to cut off my mitten. So you kind of have to adjust. I'm going to turn this up, though. I do want the, oh, a nice finished edge. I don't want the fray showing. Well, let's fold it up in there. It's kind of stiff from that bonding. Now, oh boy, I may have to really, hmm, may have to rethink this a little. Let's see if we can get that up in there. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna make this a little more narrow, go a little at a time. And I said I wanted my mitten to be smaller, so I'm gonna come around. Turn that off a little. Turn this off a little. Now I'm gonna have to make this one similar. It's down here. Pull it up there. And just kind of trim around that here. They don't have to be exactly the same, but similar is good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave this one until I start working with that. Now, let's see if we can get all this in here. I want the mitten to come out this way, the thumb on the outside. All right. Okay, I got it together. What I did was I clipped off another piece of this white, added it to that, I had the pine cone on, so I used some of the Dollar Tree berries, and I added those there, and I thought, oh, it needs a little sprig of green in there, and I thought, oh, I just need one more silver berry, but I don't have any, so I started digging around, and voila, voila, whatever it is, I found another silver berry. I'm so excited. So now, that is going to look adorable. All I have to do now is hot glue it on. And this will be finished. Let me do a bunch of hot glue right up here. And right above that bow. Oh, these are fun to make. Now, since this is just about finished, for all my subscribers out there, if you watch this video, I really would like some feedback on how much you think I should charge for this at a craft fair. I'm thinking anywhere between 10 and 15. So if you have any thoughts on that and you wouldn't mind sharing that with me, I would love to know what you think. Um, let's get this on there. Kind of straight. I would just think that turned out so cute with the black and the white. Hold that on there just a little bit longer. There we 
we go. I think that's good. Okay. There. Now let's get his fur kind of uh, squished out here a little bit. Here's my comb. Don't really need it, but let's see. We're going to have his hat down or up. There's his little arms. I, I don't know. I just like the up. I just think it's so cute. But, you know, you can do whatever you want. Like I said, I'm probably going to have to run a, a lint um, roller over these. Oh, they're so cute. And you can style their beard any way you want. If you want to make a stash, you can. And then uh, I kind of like to pull this down a little bit. And it kind of looks like there's a little mouth hole in there, maybe. Maybe. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And, um, like I said, if you have any thoughts on how to price this, uh, please give me some suggestions. So, anyway, there's our gnome, the black and white one. I uh, will see you next time. Bye-bye.